Hello and welcome. This video has popular comments about outdoor cats that will make you think, smile, and learn a little more. To all the outdoor cat owners, what exactly makes it okay for your cat to crap in my yard and in my raised beds where we try to grow food to eat and thus now must pay good money for plastic cat scat mats that cats don't like stepping on? Alas, can't cover the whole yard with plastic spikes as that would render it unusable to humans as well. Can dogs come poop in your yard? No. Can I? No. Can I give you the bill for the things I must continue to buy just to try to deter your little darlings? No. Then keep your cats indoors. I am sick of it. No one likes to clean a litter box. Then don't have a cat because no one likes to step in your cat's droppings, which yes, they do leave wherever the hell they want to. My wife and I have eight indoor cats, 23 during our 51 years of marriage and have been donors to humane societies every place we have lived. We currently feed three strays and took in a kitten last year who is new to the clouder, the term for a colony. We are old, and we now know that some of our cats will survive us. So we have made money available to the Humane Society to find homes after we die. We believe cats are healthier and live longer when they are indoors only. It's better for the birds too, but it was a long time before this fact was known. We ask people to spay and neuter their companion animals, keep cats inside, watch their diets so they, like us, they don't get fat. Give them good veterinary care, play with them so they will exercise, have windows where the cat can think they own the world, give them plenty of soft places to sleep and a soft place in the owner's heart. I have a thick cherry laurel hedge where many titmice, sparrows, and wrens roost at night and I would find feral cats gathered around the base of the plants when I came home. The cats would glide up into the hedge and take the sleeping birds, hoovering them up basically en masse. Occasionally, I'd hear the death throes through my windows. I ended up wrapping the entire base of the hedge with garden fencing, and the cats no longer come around. That's the reality of feral cats for me. I hope that people who let their cats roam unsupervised outdoors realize there are people who would poison, shoot, intentionally run over, torture cats because of their own hatred of them. Please keep your cat safe. I'm just here to read all the posts like, my dad shot any cat that came into our backyard, and cats are cold-blooded killers that deserve to die. Nothing like an article about cats to bring out the most savage responses in humans. Truly weird. I worked in an emergency vet hospital for 20 plus years. It used to break my heart to see the number of cats whose owners let their cats go outside but then couldn't afford the medical care needed because they were allowed to roam. Getting hit by a car, fights with other cats, drinking spilled antifreeze, eating birds with bacterial infections and getting sick themselves, etc. It is important to play with your cat. Use toys like feather sticks and scratching posts for indoor cats. If you do that, your cat is kept safe and entertained, and you will spend less money on vet bills and not worry about where your cat is. Not all cats are keen on hunting. I used to have two adopted Moggies, half brother and sister, who couldn't have been more different in size and temperament. A vocal male who never believed he was a cat, rarely ran, refused to jump even as high as a sofa, and alarmed guests with his ability to recognizably say three human words, hello, food, and out and his silent assassin sister, who enjoyed setting violent traps for her brother and punching humans. If that didn't teach them, she might hold on to their nose for a bit. One afternoon, after being given the out instruction, 
I open the door for the male cat, only to have the assassin run past with the small furry friend she'd brought home to play hide and seek under living room furniture. The male cat churned and followed her and in an unusually cat-like moment, snatched up the mouse the second his sister let it go. Out was still vaguely recognizable as he ran past me into the garden. Slightly stunned by what seemed suddenly feline behavior, I watched as he hurried to the far end of the path before gently releasing the mouse and immediately churning and running as fast as he could indoors with a pleading look that definitely suggested, quick, shut the door. Couldn't help but give in to his food reward query while his sister frantically checked under every chair, unaware of her brother's treachery. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, leave your comments below. Thank you for watching.